Good morning everybody, it's Julie with Obesity Is Not Me. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet. It is day 83 and day 14 of keto and I am up about a pound and a half. Eh. Anyway, I've had some really good weight loss in the last two weeks, like six pounds. So, you know, it's bound to have a little bit of boomerang when I fed a lot. <laughs> I've had some good eating days. Yesterday was a great eating day. I enjoyed my food. I didn't, I even ate out of my 16-8 window um, nice and early. I had my coffee with my cream and stuff in it. So, so yeah, so I kind of deserved it. And I'm hungry. I was very, very hungry. I am hungry this morning as well. Um, I think and that's kind of what I want to talk about right now is, you know, it seems to me that like two days or even three days after my fast, after my prolonged fast, I get crazy hungry again. Um, once I dump a lot of weight, then it seems like, and that's the gremlin again. So you got to remember your body doesn't like you losing that fat so fast, you know? So it's going to start to shoot off those signals to get you to eat, binge, to overeat, to do those kind of a thing. So, you know, you kind of want to set that hormone, you know, and that insulin and not have those spikes. It's what I'm, I'm finding with my body. So, the things that I'm going to do today, um, I have my ACV uh, concoction. I added ginger to this today because I wanted to see how that was. Ginger has like such a bite in it, but it's so good for my stomach but, that I'm like, it's hard to eat it on a lot of things. So I don't really necessarily enjoy it. I mean, I don't dislike it in the water, in the seltzer water, but then it gets those little pithy things. I haven't figured out how to Real, without getting out a huge juicer <laughs> to get the ginger, like just the extract juice out of it, I would like to figure, I might try a garlic press, I don't know. But anyway, let me try this with my ACV cocktail. But I got the little mealy, cause I shredded the ginger, so I got the little mealy things in here, but let's see how this tastes today. Oh, it's pretty good. It's a little bitey. Ah, yeah. Okay. But I'm, I'm doing the bite anyway, so I might as well bite with some ginger, too, and get that in, too. You know? Here's my chaser. Okay. So, today, to combat this hunger and my weight gain... I am going, I'm hopefully going to go O-Man today. So uh, that's what I'm planning on doing. If I don't feel that I really want to get there or I can get there, I could take out my keto tools. And one of my keto tools is to have a keto coffee with some MCT oil, with some coconut oil or coconut cream, you know. And that will probably be able to get me to uh, dinner and maybe some nuts. And I think I will do that today. Um, if I can't get to dinner because it, like, like I said, my hunger is definitely kicked up a few notches. Um, I'm going to definitely do AC apple cider vinegar. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have green tea today and I will probably make my green tea and soda stream concoction because that feels really good. And maybe I'll do my coffee drink if you haven't, it's in the back in the back, in the back in those videos. That really helps with hunger as well. I'm planning on doing some good exercising today. Um, and yeah, I mean, I gotta get ready. We're going uh, to New York for Thanksgiving. So I've got, I'm trying to get everything ready. I just bought a travel trailer, for, tra travel bag for my dog. So I'm trying to get ready for that. So I've got a lot to do here. Um, so hopefully it'll keep me busy. But tonight, tonight I'm going to have swordfish with asparagus for dinner. So I'm going very clean keto tonight. 
Um, that will be a wild caught swordfish that I got at Wild Fork and the asparagus. And then I actually have blackberries. I have some blackberries that I'm going to have for my dessert. So that's really what I plan on eating today, just to stay, stay very clean keto. And I'll probably have a coffee with coconut milk and some macadamia nuts. And that's probably all I'm gonna do. I just like, I'm just gonna keep it very low. I'm just gonna have like a handful of macadamia nuts. And I think that's what I'm gonna eat today to kind of hopefully help my hunger and to kick me back into, you know, kind of a, a regular rhythm. I think those fasts are tough on us. You know, they get, they do, you know, they're ripping out stuff. That's why the religious people do it. You know, it is, it's dumping your fat so fast, you know, so it, it does kind of mess up and it messes with your mind and stuff and it kind of, you're humming along and then you jump off a cliff to say with your food and your body just goes, what is going on, you know? <laughs> and I actually find myself more hungry like a couple days after my fast than actually in my fast. So just an awareness kind of helps me that that's coming. An awareness that that's coming, let's pull out your little tricks, let's get, you know, your soda stream going, let's get your green tea going, let's get, you know, apple cider vinegar going and let's get your coffee beverages going and you know and then stay very clean on keto you know maybe back away from the pork rinds and the and the uh um bacon today <laughs> i think i'll go with some fish and some keto friendly vegetables today i think that's my my goal for the day so anyway Good to talk to you, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye.